What is up guys, welcome to another video and today we are back on Underground 2 and today we're gonna go ahead and do some mod 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 modifications. <laughs> today we're not gonna be talking about this thing. Instead we're gonna go ahead and talk about this M3 GTR. Now as you can see obviously Underground 2 was a game that didn't really have the M3 GTR, that didn't come until most 1 2005, but I've managed to mod it in and it looks pretty goddamn cool. Now you're probably noticing a few things. Firstly, the brakes are going through the rims. There's, there's not really much I could do about that to be honest. And also the car is in red. Now we can actually change the colour I believe of the car. I think we can change the rims and a few other things, um, but we can't put the most wanted 2005 wrap on the car, which is a bit annoying because I kind of would want to. But yeah, you can't use the most wanted 2005 wrap, which is a bit annoying because you kind of think that they would have that in this mod, but you can't, weirdly enough. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and have it in this white colour. I think white looks pretty goddamn nice, and it also kind of hides the brake calipers, which again looks really, really weird. Now, in terms of this car and what it actually replaces, for some reason, you wouldn't guess this, like, at all, but it replaces a Hyundai Tiburon GT, so like the Hyundai Coupe. That is probably possibly the oddest car to replace. And one thing you'll notice when we're actually in game with the car is it doesn't really sound like the most 1005 counterpart. It kind of sounds like it's real life version. Um, so wherever this has been taken from, I'm assuming it's not been taken from most wanted. Um, they've actually used like the real life most one, uh, the real life M3 GTR sounds, which I think is really really cool. Now I've already fully upgraded it and I've already done all that stuff. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go into free run. We're going to go ahead and test it out and then obviously take it onto the track afterwards to see how it performs there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go straight into the open world. Lick, 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 I lick, I wanna eat choke. Okay, so we're out here in the open world and I kind of want to show you guys what I mean by the sounds. Now. When I rev this, you'll notice that this does not sound like a high-end Tibrion, so just, just, just listen, just listen. That sounds like an F1 car. That sounds like nothing I've heard in this game, full stop. That is actually ridiculous. You'll also notice that the interior, you can't really see it properly at this angle. You can kind of see into it, but it's, it's like a fully modelled interior. So I kind of want to see if I can get that working in a future video and maybe do a cockpit mod. That would be really, really cool. But, you know, like the actual interior itself is fully customised. So this is a fully fledged mod. Now you're probably asking me, how does this handle? Well, to put it in plain terms, nothing like it does in Most Wanted 2005. Now, obviously, I, I like to think Underground 2 is quite different in terms of its handling physics. It's a lot less kind of grippy, I guess. It's a lot more slidey, and you can definitely tell. It's not as gripped as it is in Most Wanted 2005 for obvious reason. You know, the whole, the whole physics are just different. I'm not sure if it's going to be as OP as the other cars are, because again, it's still not oversteering, which is a weird thing. A lot of the cars in Underground 2, if you put them in certain, certain situations, they would oversteer. These don't really oversteer. Oh, this car doesn't really oversteer. So it'll be really interesting to see if it's actually OP. But the first thing I want to do before we go ahead and obviously race this car is I want to see how it drifts on a drift track. So we're going to go ahead and take it drifting and see what the M3 GTR like. GTR like? We're gonna go ahead and see what the M3 GTR is like on a drift track. So let's go ahead and get this sideways. Now we're just here in this race. I've noticed that literally all the cars are modded. We've got another M3 GTR, we've got a Porsche and an R32. Um, oh shit! So no, we're not we're not doing anything ridiculous, we're just doing a simple figure eight track or whatever this is. Um, and I just kind of want to see what it's like. Again, I don't want to do anything too ridiculous because it kind of I want to spend most of my time in this video racing. But I've got to say immediately, uh, it's gripping up oddly. Like it's still gripping up even though it's in like drift physics. This is weird. Yeah, this is really weird. This is very weird. It's not like a normal drift car in Need for Speed, like Underground 2. It's like, it's like it's, it wants to grip up kind of like it's... You can tell it's supposed to be a track car. This isn't this isn't normal. You can also tell by the Oh my god, I've spun out. I've spun out. I've legit just spun out. Right, enough of that. Let's go ahead and get this on the track. Obviously, I'm not very good at drifting on this game. I think that much has been has been established. I think what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and do a sprint race and we'll make it a really really long one from the top of the map to the bottom of the map. I think that makes the most sense. So I'm going to go ahead, find a race, set it all up and I'll be there at the end. In, 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 the, in the race. In, in, the, in the race. Okay, so here we go in the race again with a bunch of modded cars. I'm pretty sure like most of the cars in Underground 2 at this point, I, like for me, are modded. 
um, just but purely based on the fact of all these videos. Like, I don't really uninstall them. I just kind of just keep them there. Um, and as you can see, we've got, we've got an A3, a Corolla, and an RWB Porsche. Oh my god. That RWB Porsche is literally flying away. I'm not sure if that's just because the mod's OP or what's going on. But we're seeming to catch up now, which is good. We're catching up, which is good. I find it really cool how this game is still supported, like, 10 or so years after the game has come out. Like, that is just mad to me. I don't know. I, there's something about that which just boggles my mind. It also seems like we are very, very far ahead. Oh, my God. That could have ended up really, really badly. I'm playing on hard with catch you off. So I don't really know why I'm doing so well. One thing I'm noticing is this car generally is gripping up really, really well. That didn't obviously do me any good when we were actually in the drift race. But in these circuit races, oh my god, this thing basically never oversteers. It always understeers, if anything. Which again is a good and bad thing. But I've got to say, overall, I really, really do like it. It's kind of cool, to be fair. It's so trippy playing with a M3 GTR in this game. Like, for some reason, you know, when you're going to grow up playing Most Wanted and, you know, Underground 2, and you never see this car in Underground 2, it's really trippy when you mod it in, because it's like, it's not something you expect. And also, considering this replaces the Tiburon, you can probably get it quite early on in the game if you did want to play through the game with the Most Wanted 2005 GTR. You can actually probably do that in the game, which I find is pretty goddamn cool. I'm pretty sure you could prob probably mod in the uh, the vinyl as well if you really really wanted to like if you actually wanted to find it you probably could um but at least in the stock mod itself you can't find that classic uh, silver and blue vinyl that's in most 1005 obviously it's not the stock the actual sound that was in um the original most wanted um obviously it hasn't got that su the the supercharger wine and it's a bit different it's a bit more kind of raw but honestly i I think I like it. Sounds like an actual race engine. It doesn't sound like, you know, it, just, it doesn't sound generic almost. Like it's kind of how I want to say it. It sounds like, like a race car. And I really, really want to see if I can get the uh, the interior view sorted because that's definitely going to be a future video. I think that would be really, really cool to play this game in first person. But anyway, with that being said, we've just crossed the line. Overall, I really do like this mod. Honestly, if you're going to play through Underground 2 again, I definitely recommend you to go download this mod and use it at some point in, you know, the the, let's, the the walkthrough that you use. Because honestly, it's really that good. The mod is really well made, the sounds are really good, and honestly, yeah, it's just a blast. So, the link will be down in the description if you want to go ahead and download it for yourself. But that's been it from me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and hit the like and subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome. Stay safe and peace.